Hi, my name is Allison Price and I'm on the marketing team at the OpenStack Foundation. Welcome to Super User TV. Today with me is Tamara Johnston from EMC and we're going to be talking about the women of OpenStack activities here at the Tokyo Summit, but also how women can get involved after the summit as well. So Tamara, tell me, how long have you been involved in the OpenStack community? I joined the community in August of 2013, and I joined it when I joined Cloud Scaling, uh, where I used to manage the deployments, all of our OpenStack deployments. Um, and over the past two and a half years, I've, I've gotten involved in a few different ways. So one way is I'm an active technical contributor, so I contribute to the documentation. Um, and I recently joined the product working group, so that's new for me. And of course, I've been a part of the Women of OpenStack um, probably about the past year or so since the Paris Summit. Awesome. That's fantastic. So here, at the, here we are at the OpenStack Summit in Tokyo. So what activities does the women of OpenStack have planned for this week? You know, there are a lot of activities. And I think there's more now than there were in any of the past summits. So yesterday we actually had two great sessions. One was the Command Presence Workshop, which was a great session. It was a, a two hour long session with around 20 people. And really they challenged us in trying to present in a difficult situation. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people were throwing questions at us and really trying to make us uncomfortable, but it was a great way to learn how to command presence when you're in a difficult situation. And then last night, we actually had the Women of OpenStack networking event. And I think there was, what, over 200 registrants, and there had to have been at least that many people there. And that was a great event for people to network, and, you know, and thank you to IBM and Intel for sponsoring that. But that was one of the key events to kind of kick off the summit, as, as we do every year. And then this morning we had a Friendly Faces meetup, which I think was new, and it was just a good way to get some of the new folks uh, to the summit, meet some of the old timers, and kind of learn the ropes and what to do over the course of the week. And then of course, tomorrow we have quite a few more things scheduled. So in the morning we kick off with a breakfast session uh, where we're gonna have some lightning talks with Xing Yang from EMC and Nikki Acosta from Cisco. Uh, so you know, that'll be a great session. But at two, we're going to talk about what is the Women of Open Second going to do over the next six months? Between now and Austin, what are our plans? What's our roadmap? What do we want to accomplish over the course of the next few months? And then um, tomorrow during lunchtime, we have a lunch and learn, a tech tools lunch and learn, which I'll help lead. And it's to help familiarize people and get, and get hands on experience with Git and Garrett. Uh, so we're actually going to use the test system to submit a test documentation patch uh, to the OpenStack documentation. And then tomorrow there's a few more sessions. So we have the subtle bias uh, uh, session, which is, you know, again talking about, you know, how do you overcome subtle bias in the workplace or, or whatever it may be. Uh, so that'll be another great session with some of the old, the, the folks uh, from the Women of OpenStack. Uh, and then on Thursday afternoon, we're actually going to close things out with a little get together and just, you know, how did things go for the week? Uh, the week? What did we learn? Uh, what did we take away? And what do we want to do next next go around? So, um, you know, those are the scheduled sessions. But there's also some other things that the Women of OpenStack have put on as well. So one is, uh, you know, there's a lot of different uh, areas where you can get lunch. And if you go to the hot breakfast area, there's actually reserved tables where people can, you know, women can go there and meet and uh, network over lunch with other women uh, during the lunchtime. And then I think one other thing to call out, which you heard jo Jonathan Bryce mention this morning, is that we are at OpenStack Hashtag. So that's a new initiative that came out of the Women OpenStack and the Diversity Working Group. And it's really to help you know, raise awareness that we are proud to be OpenStackers, whether it's you know, because we're here and we're attending, we're presenting, we're networking. So that's a great uh, social campaign that I, I'm really proud that the, the Women of OpenStack helped create this uh, for the summit. Awesome. So, and I heard that you know, 11% of attendees at the summit are of women this year, which or this summit, which is great because it's the most we've ever had. So, why do you think it's important to have like we? There's a jam-packed schedule of women of OpenStack events this week. So, why do you think it's important to have those events um, at the summit as well as the intermittent conversations after the summit and between summits? Yeah, I mean, to your point, the 11% of attendees this year are uh, women, and compared to Vancouver, I think that was 10%. And the, the individual contributors or me community members, women make up 9%. So we're still a very small percentage. And that's why we try to do what we can to encourage people to get involved, you know, support women to think of ideas for talks and be there to support them when they're you know, talking during their sessions. Um, so you know, that it's key for us to hold these sessions 
to help encourage women to get involved and to really provide a support system because uh, it can be kind of overwhelming 5,000 people in a facility spread across five buildings or so so it's a great way to you know as we did the other day you know just talk and you know meet other women that are doing the same thing as you whether a developer a program manager a product manager women that are working with open source software and trying to find ways to get involved Awesome. So after we leave Tokyo, after the summit's over, how can women who want to get involved um, stay connected to the women that not only that they met at the event, but maybe they couldn't attend the summit or they want to continue fostering those relationships until the next summit, which is in Austin? So the Women of OpenStack leverages a lot of the same technologies that a lot of the other groups do in the OpenStack uh, community. So one way is we have our own mail list. So you can easily sign up for the mail list, get a daily digest or e all the emails. You can kind of see what's going on in there. And that's a great way, too, to say, hey, I, you know, I have an idea or I wanted to know more information about this. You can send an email to the Women of OpenStack mail list, and one of the many great women that are part of that group will, will respond to you. And then another way is we have recurring meetings scheduled. Uh, so we talk about activities such as we did coming up to the summit. So there'll be similar sessions in preparation for Austin. And as well, you know, these recurring meetings, and everybody's welcome to join, we'll talk about the plans that we decided on this week. You know, keep those moving forward and really implement them in preparation uh, for, for Austin. And as well, you can also use IRC. So we have, there is a Women of OpenStack IRC channel, but there's also OpenStack 101, and there's a, quite a few different OpenStack IRC channels. And that's another way that you can, as a new contributor, ask questions about Git and Garrett, or you can ask questions about meetups, or, or whatever it may be. Or you even can kind of sit on the sidelines and look at some of the conversations between the different developers and get a little idea of how those groups work. Um, so those are three of the different ways that people can get involved with the Women of OpenStack. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. It's a great way to help everyone get involved and stay connected. And thank you again for joining me today on Super User TV. And if you want to learn more about the women of OpenStack, like Tamara said, please um, join the mailing list or visit the wiki and the links are below.